San Francisco's office vacancy rate recently hit a record high of nearly 37 percent, a major cause of declining foot traffic and disappearing storefront shops. The city of San Francisco is taking what some call extreme measures to rejuvenate the downtown. It's launched the Vacant the Vibrant Initiative, which has selected nearly 30 local businesses so far and provided up to six months of free rent. Paper Sun Coffee applied for the program and is now at its new location serving up locally roasted coffee that incorporates Asian flavors. Streets were always packed before COVID and it, now it's like a ghost town. So it's nice to get some vibrancy and some, some community sh shops open. This prime location was empty for three years before Paper Sun Coffee moved in with free rent. Six months, no strings attached. You can leave if you want to. It is a statement from the landlord. That's super generous, honestly. Hungry Crumbs makes freshly baked stuffed cookies. The shop is filled with locally produced beverages and art. But every business in the program soon faces the question, can it broker an affordable deal after the free rent period has passed? I think it's based on the conversation that you have with the landlord. Some folks would just pay a flat fee or a percentage based on revenue generated. Um, I think it's an exciting time just to kind of revise what the business model is as opposed to like a flat fee. Rent based on revenue was not an option for Holy Stitch, which was in the first vacant to vibrant cohort. I was given a month to month option thereafter with the rent that I, everyone knew I, or hoped that I could pay for it rather. Yeah, I maybe was ambitious thinking of the possibility of doing that, but it definitely at times not felt like a setup, but indicative of how small businesses need different kinds of support than just a space. Instead of trying to fork up $23,000 per month, Julian now pays $5,000 at a new location where just outside drug users and homeless people can readily be seen. I made it this far. I'm going to keep on going because I know the people I influence, like the street people, the weed dealers, I inspire them as a father, as a person that has a set of keys. Holy Stitch has evolved into a for-profit business that creates original clothing. You can think about it like an ice cream shop. You can buy it as is, or you can go to the other section and put toppings on it that include rhinestones, silk screens. And Holy Stitch also has a non-profit component, a factory fellowship where students learn skills of the trade. What Julian tells his students reflects the wisdom he's gained from the ups and downs of business. He teaches them that his definition of perfection is being better than last time. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.